I have really missed working and we've been out of school for a long time. This time of year, Benny Thacker would normally be enjoying her last few weeks of summer before the school year and her bus routes began. But this year, she's left with a list of questions and zero answers. Are we going to be protected with insurance or will we have to go to COBRA? Are we going to get our bonuses in August and December? Or her worst fear, not having a job to do if Guilford County Schools starts the year off with students learning remotely. Will we still be on payroll if we are not driving? Betty understands the risk to herself. She's in her 70s, but she depends on her bus driving income and is not eligible yes, for unemployment no, benefits. I feel like even though I'm at that age risk, I believe if I practice what I'm supposed to do, then I'll be okay. But if you don't practice it, then you're asking for trouble. She plans to follow the state's suggested cleaning schedule, wiping down and sanitizing the inside of the bus before morning and afternoon routes. It's going to be rough and tough to deal with this, but it's, it's, a, it's a challenge, you know, that we have to follow the rules and regulation in order for this stuff to work. Aside from state guidelines, she's received no other direction on how the drivers themselves will be kept safe. Kids going to get on the bus. I know they are not going to keep masks on. And it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for us. Betty wants plexiglass installed around bus drivers to protect them. We still have a long way to go. People still need to practice social distancing, which I'm seeing a lot of it not not happening. Betty also worries about the kids on her route. The district was short bus drivers last year, and she's confident that number will go up this year. And I would hate to have to worry about how these kids going to get to and from where they need to go. Four weeks out, no answers and a lack of communication. Betty wonders if she should start looking for another job. Right now it's a trying time for everyone.